What's up guys, Douglas Shu here, and welcome back to my Let's Play Viva Eternity. We are moving on to map 31, the Imperator. This is a skill slot map, and it plays a lot different than any of the other maps in this one. This is probably my least favorite map so far, even more than for Mayor. It plays a lot like a skill slot map, but the overall map design just seems sort of weird, out of place, and just not that fun. I don't think it's a terrible map at all. In fact, it is a very cool level with some interesting challenges to it, but it involves playing completely completely different than I'm used to. This map requires a lot of patience, careful planning, and cautious navigation. You need to always be aware of your surroundings when playing this, meanwhile you'll find yourself on the brink of death quite a bit. There are also a bunch of brutal traps in the map that I'll sort of point out as I go. I also want to mention that I do not have any deathless runs at this map. Every time I play it, something dumb ends up killing me, every single time, and I'm not sure what the culprit is going to be this time, but, uh, but we'll see. I do have quite a bit of practice on it. I believe I remember where everything is. I feel a little bit more confident with this one than I did the last one, so let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna immediately start by taking those guys out, taking on the shotgunners, running this way with the chain gun, grabbing the super shotgun, keeping the chain gun out to take on all the hit scan enemies down here. And that's pretty much the start of the map. Meanwhile, we're going to have some cacodemons. There's going to be cacodemons all over the fucking place in this map. And they're quite annoying because of the infinite height ceilings, I guess. And all of the places that they can get trapped in. And they could just be lurking behind buildings and shit. I don't know. Not a huge fan. And like I said, the map requires a lot of patience, and you just have to be cautious as you play it. And because of that, the map isn't very large, but it is going to take me quite a long time to finish. Oh, shit. Next thing we'll do is we'll grab the rocket launcher and run out. Because there will be four Hell That's like That's the first brutal trap that we see. There's four Hell Knights up there. And, like, no room to really fight them. Also, this map is pretty much all rocket launcher. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, though. Damn former captains. They still hurt just as bad. Wow, I shot in between the chain gunners. That was awful. So we don't have the red key yet. We can't go in there. We could drop down there and get the first secret, but I'm going to hold off. I do want to kill this Mancubus up there because he becomes a problem. There we go. We aren't given a lot of shotgun shells in this map at all, so the map is pretty much going to involve us using the rocket launcher almost all the time. I'm not even going to bother with him. This just really narrow ledge that we need to climb this tower with is very annoying. Especially when there's projectiles flying at you from everywhere. Ow. I'm gonna hold off there. I don't even know what the fuck shot me. When you try to walk up there, um, it will reveal another trap that this is gonna be fun without shotgun shells. Because there's a Hell Knight in there. It's those damn imps up there, too. God, I took so much more damage than I wanted to. Whatever, we'll let him chase us back here. I think we can pretty much use the chain gun now. I think it might have been that Mancubus that took a pop shot at me while I was climbing this. Either that or there's another Cacodemon or something somewhere. We run up here. We can explode a bunch of those guys. And this Mancubus we can actually kill now. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just one less guy we have to worry about later. I am hurting. I might grab that soul sphere now. Eh. 
This soul sphere, we can't grab, really grab that secret yet. Yep, yeah, it was that fucking Mancubus. Oh, piece of shit. I want to grab that, but the hit scan enemies are going to get me. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else of interest down here. This is the spawn here, and this is where we started. And, uh, matter of fact, I think I'm going to actually... Let's grab the first secret, which is down here. If we fall down here, we can grab the soul sphere. Um, immediately come down here, come to the left. We can grab mega armor there. And we can just sprint across this way. Damaging floor is not something I miss. <laughs> And then we can now come this way. I'm gonna wait and see if the imps will infight with this cacodemon here. There we go. And then we can get. There we go, okay. And we can get him fighting with the uh, former captain up there. <laughs> Did he change his mind? Yeah, there's a lot of cacodemons and shit up here. This cacodemon is pretty much everywhere. That's why I'd mention you really have to like watch your surroundings at all times because of the cacodemons. Oh shit! That was a really bad time to run out of ammo. Alright, um, how do we want to do this? Fuck it, we'll just come down here. Immediately start firing rockets down there. Eee. Eee. Okay. Try not to fall down there. I mean, there's a couple of rad suits that we can get that will help us clear out the whole bottom area there. This map just requires so much focusing, and I apologize if my commentary sucks. If we come by, we'll take these guys out first. There's just so much to kill and so much stuff firing at you from all directions. It's... Damn cacos, man. <laughs> I hate those motherfuckers. Damn, I am really low on ammo. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the imps and all them down there. Because when we come around here, there will be Archvile. Should be pretty easy to kill, as long as you're prepared for them. It's also very difficult to take damage from literally everything else down here. I just, there's a lot of things I like to kill first, just so they don't sneak up on me later, or so I don't forget about them. The Mancubus, or the Mancubi around the map, are the prime example there. But then, of course, you have the Cacodemons that come on by. I thought there were more Cacodemons out here. Killing some time while we wait for Mr. Kako here. We also don't want to pass by and grab that plasma rifle yet. Because we'll be in deep shit if we do. Alright. This trap is pretty brutal, so I'm going to save here. We're going to grab the plasma rifle and just start dancing around with everything here. Once you clear out enough shit there, you can put 
put the plasma rifle away because you do want to... There's a lot of plasma ammo in the map. But you do want to conserve it as much as you can. Down here, there will be more revenants. This map's just got a lot of brutal encounters, man. I think I'm glad we don't see any astral cacodemons. I don't think there are any in this map. No, I'm confident there aren't any in this map. Alrighty. We're looking pretty good on health and armor right now. That is subject to change. Do you do everything firing at us from every direction? Former captain woke up there. There's Revenant around there. Then I have to be careful I don't wake up. But yeah, this map just requires a ton of patience, man. <laughs> I know I'm like, I'm just trying to like be serious here because I'm, just, I'm focusing so much. I mean, we're not even halfway done with the map and I'm 11 minutes in. That should be enough. Why didn't he wake up? He got smacked with splash damage from a rocket and was just like, oh, must be the wind. Okay. Um, there's an Archvile around this corner. Weirdly placed Archvile. He's like not a threat at all. He's very easy to just trap in that room. And it's like he doesn't really have a lot to revive out here. I don't know. It's just a randomly placed Archvile. Okay. I'm going to ignore everything else down there for now. We will continue our trek up here. I guess we'll keep the rocket launcher out so that way we can get a rocket up. And then we have to just wait on everything to come down to us. This becomes one of those times that the rocket launcher is not very good because it's very, very tight. Very easy to hurt yourself. That's what she said. Not the hurt yourself part, but... Ooh, that should have hit me. And this yellow pit is damaging, so try to be careful as you grab your goodies. Kill him. There's going to be another one over here. Oh, he wanted to wake up. Okay. <laughs> and then we can grab this cell pack here and immediately start spamming rockets down there. That kind of sucked that that revenant got a jump start on me. Not only did it hit me, but it also delayed my, like, a few rockets from getting down there. Oof. That was not good. There's enough rockets to go around, so. Why am I so low on bullets? I feel like I always had bullets before. See what I'm saying, man? It's exactly the kind of shit I'm talking about. Not gonna grab that mega armor yet. I don't really need it just yet. It's bigger fish to fry. Wow! Pre firing me. Oh, I wanted. I, I should have waited for the fatty to come up. Because I don't want his corpse lying there. As you can see, there's an archvile arm. This is a tough encounter just because of the amount of fireballs that are coming at you. Like, how are you supposed to do that without taking damage? <laughs> a very, very aggressive make you buy down there. I'm gonna hide down here. A lot of Mankey buying this map, and I think that's what I get for complaining about Revenants in the last video. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we need more monster variety. I'm sick of Revenants and Astral Cacodemons. So we'll put a fucking Mankeybus on every corner of this cliff and just have him pelt at you. Um, we'll ignore those guys. You really just gotta be patient here, man. Your health is so valuable. 
Your health and armor is so valuable in this level. Okay, we're looking good there. I think we're pretty good. I think there should be a Cacodemon shooting at us. Oh, there he is. Called it. Played this map quite a bit. I, I sort of remember all the Cacodemon placements. Alright. Um, fuck it, we'll drop down here. Because that's where the first rad suit is. And then, yeah, we'll grab the rad suit. Come around here. And we'll jump down here. Make sure everything is dead. And there's a lot of boxes of rockets down here. You don't really need rockets, but this is the prime way to be filling up on ammo. Making sure everything is dead. The cell pack here. Forgot some monsters. I think we encounter them later anyway, so. And then this is where we entered this area. And then we just came from the left. We have to go to the right though. Make sure everything is dead. Of course it's not. And there's a little secret passage down here. I think this should have been tagged as a secret. Because there's a fucking Megasphere here. And it's like not a required part of the map. So, we'll grab the other red suits so that way we can safely get out of here. And now we just have to backtrack. I gotta make sure all the snipers are dead though. Cause there's so many scattered around here. I think we're good though. Um, all right, where the hell am I? Oh, I forgot, I saw my mega armor there. That might be good to remember. He is aggressive, man. Okay. And here's another filthy trap. It's cool because you can sort of use the nightmare demons and the pinkies as uh, meat shields. Not too brutal of a trap, but there's a lot of them like that. Okay. These rockets drop down here. We have two arachnatrons here on the right side. Two chain gunners here. It's very, very important to just get the one up, like the head start on all of the monsters, because your health and armor is so valuable, as you saw me just jump into a damaging pool for, what, 10 bullets? <laughs> There's another soul sphere there. We're actually, we're given a lot of health packs, but it's the traps that are, are the dangerous thing here. We'll grab the red key there. And there's another soul sphere that we didn't grab yet. So yeah, there's a lot of like health bonuses and, and armor bonuses. But, um, you know, none that are really useful to us. Go ahead and open this and now we can come across here. We can jump into this teleporter. I don't have as many cells as I wanted for this. This is kind of AIDS. My rule of thumb is I want at least 400 cells for this. I'm gonna save. Because this trap is brutal. Shit, 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 shit! points of health I really didn't want to lose this early. This is going to make this next part very difficult if I can even pass it. Okay. Immediately come this way. I like to hug this wall here. A horde of monsters making their way down here with an arch vial.
so dangerous. Don't go in that room, by the way. My god. <laughs> this map makes me break a fucking sweat. Luckily, we don't have to worry about the Cyber Demon right now. We're gonna Telefrag him. Because Skillsaw loves Telefrag, his Telefragging of Cyber Demons. Hello? There you go. Alright, and uh... You know what, why am I saving? There's just one Archfile around here. Oh, that's why I'm saving, because he's fucking dangerous! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> okay. It could be really bad if there were beefier enemies that died in here. That that could be a really, really tough arch file. Alright. We're looking okay. Go ahead and use this, grab our blue key. That'll open up this trap here. If we use this, secret number two is through that teleporter. That wall is marked with a candle. But Guess what? There's a lot of cacodemons that are coming for us now. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I don't even want to take them on yet. Uh, but it looks like they're making that decision for me. Alright, you want to fight? Let's fight. I have a lot of shotgun shells. I never thought I would say that when playing this map. We also have a lot of rockets, though. might have killed that other one I didn't see. But let's go. Okay. Uh, former captains are coming. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah. God, they hurt so bad. I forget how much fucking damage they do. That was a great time to grab that soul sphere. Okay. Their blue key. I keep- oh man, we have a- we have that other mega armor too. This other trap really shouldn't be that bad. Okay. I shoot at the chain gunner's feet there. I guess it's good to save your chain gun for this room. Ha ha ha! I think I forgot about you. In the back of my head. Um, yeah, we could be 200 and 200 for that other encounter there. That's really, really difficult. So, okay. This isn't bad. There is an arch vial. Let's dance. Okay. And around here. All right. And then shotgun arc there. So if we wanted to pick off the cyber demon like that, we can... But there's no point in doing that. Instead, we are going to come back around here. I'm going to do this the safe way. I could have just jumped off the tower, but where's the fun in that? And then, excuse me. Come through this. And there's that soul sphere, which is secret number two. And we can grab those rockets. Uh, let's go back uh, this way. And we'll go see if we can... Go backtrack to get that mega armor. Pretty sure there might be a quicker way to get there. But I'm taking the safe way. Yeah, we could have just went that way. Because this elevator We'll just take us there. Everything is connected here, but because of my method there, we had to do a little bit of backtracking. All right, I'm saving here because this this is the the hardest encounter I think in the whole map. Oh, there was a big armor there too, for Christ's sake! All right, drop down here. Immediately go for that arch vial. I like to just take cover in this room here. And I like to wait. Because there will be uh, shotgunners and another arch vial. Whoa! He didn't get stunned, are you kidding me? 
immediately come over here, hit that switch, and when everything else starts teleporting in, <laughs> jump through that teleporter. That's going to um, telefrag the Cyber Demon and give us the BFG. If we move again, it'll take us back here. We can see what's going on in there. Yeah, once everything else that we have, it's a wave thing, so you'll have Archvile. Oh, let's try to get some infighting going. There you go. Um, so you have Archvile and all the zombie men. After you kill them, it's not after you kill them, it's timed. Um, eventually, there will be Shotgunner and Archvile. And then after that is Annihilator and everything else. And when Annihilator and everything else in the, is there, you'll want to jump into that center area. Or that. It's that center pillar there. I'll show it off after as soon as I can safely kill this guy. So there's a switch on the wall on this side. You hit that, and that will open this where you jump in there and then telefrag the Cyber Demon. So that's the safest way to do it. Go ahead and jump through there. Once we've got everything, we are full. It sucks that we die at the end of this minute because we're. Oh, forgot. Forgot about them. Oh, God. <laughs> How did I forget an entire encounter like this? Oh my god. The absolute, like, face of panic. There's another Soul Sphere, right? <laughs> There's a Soul Sphere and a Mega Armor. Wait, shit, did I have to grab that? I don't remember if I grabbed the Mega Armor down there or not. Time to do some more backtracking, because I need more health for this. 25 minutes, good god. You know what? We're fine. I don't need the fucking mega armor. I'll be fine with green armor. This next encounter really isn't even that nasty. I really wanted the soul sphere, but whatever. Let me just go check to see if there is the mega armor. Ha! Yeah, Soul Sphere would be beautiful right now, but whatever, it'd be like that sometimes. Nothing of interest down there. I don't know why I'm bothering filling up on shit. Ah, he, he touched me. I'm telling mom. Oh god. Okay. Jump across here. Jump across here. Jump across here. And save because I don't know if 100 health is going to be enough for this encounter. It's really not that bad. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. No wonder Ghost is calling me pussy. It's another one of the encounters where you can use the pinkies as meat shields. It's like we have so much plasma still. Yeah, that encounter's not difficult at all. But the health and armor is there if you really need it. Grab the yellow key. Okay, they are all dead. Ah! I hate former captains, man. I hate them so much. I think they are my, my most hated enemy in all of Doom. <laughs> I hate them more than fucking, uh, than Revenants and Pain Elementals by far. They just, they just hit way too hard. Oh, we have everything in the map. Let's go ahead and exit. I don't even know if there's a normal exit in here. The only one I know of is that secret exit. But that's Imperator. This map is definitely challenging. <laughs> I don't think it's as difficult as map 14 was. As you can see, I had a much easier time with this map than I did with uh, with Vermeer. But it's a tough one, and it's a skill saw map, so of course it's not going to be easy. The traps, I think, were nuts, and without a BFG, I think the traps almost even felt a bit unfair. Luckily, the plasma rifle, though, was our best friend and helped us burn through them as safe as we possibly could.
I don't really think the ammo was balanced all that well. It kind of just felt like you needed to use the rocket launcher all the time, and I couldn't resort to other weapons. So the problem is that the rocket launcher was a very, very bad weapon in a lot of the encounters. I had to be very, very careful about when I used my super shotgun just because I was so low on ammo, and I had to make sure I kept my distance from everything so I didn't suicide with the rocket launcher. Now, I love the rocket launcher. Don't get me wrong. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game, but I really, really missed my super shotgun a lot of the time here. So yeah, Yugi Boy 85 mentioned that this wasn't his favorite map in the wad, and I could really see why. Trying to maneuver around that small ledge that we see right there um, that leads up to the tower is a severe bitch, and especially when you're trying to bob and weave the monster projectiles and trying to avoid the damaging floor below, it just feels damn near impossible um, because you risk taking damage from literally everything around you. And like I said before, your health and your armor is so valuable due to the difficulty of the traps that you wanna make sure you get hit the least amount of times. And it's very, very difficult to predict everything. You just feel very, very limited on what you can do. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Now, just bear with me because it may be a while until my next upload. Map 32 is a very, very long map. And it's going to take me a ton of practice, I'm sure. I know that I do plan on separating the videos up into different parts, probably like 20 minutes intervals each just because I don't know how long it's going to take me to complete the map. I think the UV max record for the map is like 75 minutes, but yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a little while until my next upload and I apologize. Uh, in the meantime though, I did create an Ugly Strew Discord, so if you guys are interested, I'll post a link for that in the description so you guys can join and we can kind of bullshit about random stuff. It's just a little hangout spot to socialize and shit post in and post your memes or whatever. Um, so yeah, just come through and check it out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Ugly Drew. I only have like three followers that are interested in Doom stuff, and um, yeah, if you want to keep in touch with me outside of Discord, that'll be the best place. I just want to sort of get a little bit more uh, in touch with the community and be able to talk about Doom stuff with more people. So, <laughs> once again, my Twitter handle is Ugly Strew. And thanks again, everyone. I will see y'all next time at Map32. Take care. A vast edifice, shrouded by indecision, looms ahead. It beckons, daunts, and entices. Through fire above and fire below, toward a startling discovery, the path lies unkempt. See you next time, guys. Take care.